This week's game is absolutely perfect for travel. That is because it has no physical components whatsoever. Oh, and it's free. What? I know, right? I don't know about you, but I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. I grew up watching reruns of the old TV show uh, back in the day when Tom Baker, who was the fourth Doctor, was on, and I fell in love with the show. I used to go to my bus stop in the morning and dream about Doctor Who showing up in his TARDIS and inviting me to go off and adventures with him in time and space. Hey, I was five years old. In the mid 80s, the show kind of drew to a close. But about five years ago, the BBC revived it, and they picked it up right where it left off, which was fantastic for us Who fans. But they came back with a brand new director, a brand new look, and a brand new feel to the whole Whoverse. That's the Doctor Who universe. Since its revival, the TV show has spurred on a number of games, but none of them really gave you the feel of what it was like to be there with Doctor Who in the episode. So, budding game designer Simon Cogan took matters into his own hands and developed Doctor Who The Solitary Story Game. It's what I call a pen, paper, and paragraph game, which means it's kind of like those old choose-your-own-adventure books. Remember those? No. Oh god, I'm old. You take on the role of the Doctor, a brilliant, traveling alien and the last of the Time Lords who explores time and space in his machine, the TARDIS. Now, to play the game, you need five different things. The first three are book components put out by the game. There's an event book, an enemy book, and an adventure book. Now, these contain all the elements that you'll need to play the game, from all the characters that you'll meet that might join you on your adventures, to the enemies that you'll be battling, to all the plot twists and turns that will not only add uh, a layer of realness to being in the game, but will also add a layer of difficulty to the game. Now, fourth, you'll need dice. Just like any role-playing game, yes, this is a solitary version of a role-playing game. This game kind of depends on fate, and fate is represented by the dice. Not everything you do, you will succeed in. What'd be the fun in that, huh? Finally, you'll need something to keep track of how your progress is going. Pen and paper, something to type on, just so you can kind of keep score of where you are. Now all of the booklets are available for download in PDF form, which means you can download them, print them out, grab some dice, and go to town. Or because they're in PDF form, you can play right from your laptop or iPad. Just download them to your system, get yourself an electronic dice rolling app, there's tons of these online or an app form for free, and you're all good to go. But wait, there's a third option. The game developers have been tirelessly working on a wiki website form of the game. They put all the materials online, and this is fantastic. They've made it so easy to play. This way you're not flipping through different booklets in front of you, you're not flipping from screen to screen on your iPad. Everything you need is in one screen. You just click on the option that you want and it automatically takes you to the book and the page that you're looking for online. They've even built in dice rollers on the sides of all the pages. That way everything you need is right there. Now you're still going to need to keep track of your progress using pen, pen and paper or um, your electronic notepad, but that is a small concession. I mean they've even built in some ambient music into some of the pages with sounds directly from the TV show. So, I've piqued your interest, huh? How does the game work? It's very simple. Each game is going to be like having your own personalized episode of the show. Now, each episode is broken up into up to 12 rounds. In each round, you're going to have two things you're going to do. The first one is going to be an action that the Doctor and his companions are going to carry out. This could be anything from exploring the surroundings, to investigating strange goings on in the area, to rescuing your companions, or trying to sabotage the enemy's evil plan. Now, once you've done that, you're going to roll on the encounter matrix. This is going to let you know if you have an encounter that turn. This is kind of um, like the electronic story master. It's how when the game plays, so you get to see how the plot moves along in the episode. This could be anything from meeting new characters that may join you, um, to discovering who the enemy is, to having an epic battle with that enemy. It's a lot of fun. Now eventually you're going to discover who the enemy is and what their goal is. Then the game will set up certain challenges for you, and once you meet those challenges, you can oppose and hopefully defeat the enemy. The game is a lot of fun, and there's so much material material for it, both in PDF and on the wiki, that you can literally play hundreds of times and never have the same adventure twice. 
They've even gone back and put in some booklets that incorporate some of the old Doctors from the original series. So, let's say you wanted to go through and play as, I don't know, Tom Baker's The Fourth Doctor? I know. Geek heaven. <laughs> if you like fan fiction and that sort of thing, this is also a great jumping off point for you to create some of your own. It gives you the layout of a whole episode that you can then turn into a short story. In fact, I may have written a uh, short story based on one of my playthroughs. If you're interested in playing the Doctor Who Solitary Story Game, then I suggest you head on over to their wiki site, or you can go to their Yahoo group, or you can even go on over to BoardGameGeek dot com and check it out over there. Now I know the developer Simon is very very interested in hearing all of your comments and feedback about the game over at Board Game Geek. Uh, he also enjoys reading through some of your playthroughs and fan fictions and things like that inspired by those playthroughs. So please feel free to do that as well. Jelly babies anyone?